Black American. So what's the uh, uh, word next to it? Judah. Judah. You from the tribe of Judah, sis. That's God's praise. That's right. Did you know that? You go to church? You go to church? Let me show you something. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Because uh, the church don't teach us who we are according to the Bible. Right. Because see, you said you're African American. God calls us Israelites. Right. His chosen people. I'm going to let him tell it to you, all right? Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Read it out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Sis, did you hear that, sis? Hey, y'all, sis, know y'all Israel? Why don't y'all come uh, give the Lord a couple minutes? So, sis, did you hear what he just said right there? Read it again. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So God said, you are holy. Do you know what holy means? What does holy mean? Holy means separate. So out of all the nations on the earth, the Most High God said, you are separate. That's right. You are holy, sis. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Brother, the Most High God has chosen you to be a special people unto him. That's right. He said, you are special, bro. Do we carry ourselves like we're special? Do we? Be honest. We men here, bro. We can deal with each other like men, you know? And we're going we gonna to keep it true. Read. Above all people. Hold on. Read that part again. Because a lot of our people like to march, right? What are we marching for? Better communities. Uh, Black Lives Matter, uh, equality, right? We want to be equal, right? Read that part again. A clear understanding. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Some of the people. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Half the people. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So we above all people that are on the face of the earth, sir. You got our flyer, sis. Read the information. We got a website. Reach out, sis, because you are princess of God. That's right. And it's time you got to start carrying yourself that way, sis. All right? Is that your bus? All right. Be safe out here. Our people don't know. Read that again. Because our people do not know that we are the most special thing on this earth. That's right. You see it in sports. You see it in singing. You see it in everything that we do. We better than these other nations. Right. Us blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are better than any other nation on the planet Earth. That's right. Thus saith the Lord. Read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So we are a special people, a separate people unto the Lord thy God. You hear that, sis? You are special people unto the Most High God. That's right. Y'all in the passing by in these cars. Y'all are special people unto the Most High God. God read. Lord. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. We special unto him. We special unto him. We don't need no help from the other nations. Right. All we got to do is get together. Come together. Under God's law, statutes, and commandments. Read. Above all people. Read that again. Above all people. We're above all people. All these other nations who think they're better than us, who, who look down their nose at us, who laugh at us because we're in the poorest conditions. The Most High God says we are better than all of them. That's right. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So we're above all people on the face of the earth. But right now we're at the bottom of society. Why are we at the bottom of society? That's what we need to ask ourselves. Bring it out. Why are we the first fired, last hired? Right. Why are we in astonishment? Why do we do the things we do? Why are we influenced by this corrupted music? Bring it out. Why are we influenced by the corruption of television? None of that stuff was made to, or designed to help us. Right. It was designed to keep us down. 
Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Read it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Most High God said, if we don't keep his law, statutes, and commandments, all these curses gonna come upon us. Right. A right. curse, a curse is us being at the bottom of society. A curse is us having the poorest schools. A curse is us not having no restaurants that we own in our own neighborhoods. Right. We don't own no stores in our own neighborhoods. That's a curse. Right. How can we build as a nation if we own nothing in our own neighborhoods? Bring it out. We gotta go to our presses for everything. And that's written in the Bible. Read that. 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Bring it out. Therefore, thou shalt serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. I bet y'all didn't know that was in the Bible. Y'all probably didn't think we had enemies, right? He right. We think our own people is our enemies. Black on black crime. Black on Mexican crime. Right. Black on Puerto Rican crime. And we all the same people. We ain't doing nothing but following through with what they have designed for them, us to do. It's kill one another. Right. Because we're the chosen people. That's right. Read it again. Therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies. So God said we're going to serve our enemies. We have enemies. And God has enemies. He said we're going to serve our enemies. Let's find out who our enemies is. Black man. Hispanic man. Bring it out. Let's find out who our enemies is. Which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord sent them against us. Because we refuse to keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. Read. In hunger. So we got to go to our oppressors in hunger. We, we don't own any grocery stores. Or if we do own one, right? We still got to go to our oppressors for the food. Because we don't own no major farms. That's right. We don't own no major wheat fields, grain, none of that stuff. So we have to go to our oppressors in hunger whenever we own them. That's why they got McDonald's and Burger Kings and Wendy's on all our blocks. Yeah. Feeding us that poison. Giving us diabetes. Making us obese. Killing us slowly. Bring it out. Right. Our enemies, read. And in thirst. And in thirst. Water, water fall from the sky for free. Why we gotta pay for water? They ain't even clicked up the water in Flint, Michigan. But they still paying for it. Our people over there paying for dirty, poisonous water. Bring it out. Out. This is what our enemies is doing to us. But we don't think we got enemies. We march hand in hand with our enemies. Talking about Black Lives Matter. And we hold hands with the people that's, that's killing us. That's right. Read. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. Everything that we wear, we got to go get from our enemies. We own no textile companies. You might have uh, some people that have their own little company, G Unit. Uh, what's the other one? Rock, Rockwell. Sean John. But they still got to go to their enemies. Right. If they enemies don't want them to have that business, they'll shut it down. That's right. Alan Iverson, if y'all know him, he came out of college rich. Broke now. Why? Because they didn't want him to have no money. And a lot of our people crazy in the mind anyways. Get money and give it right back to their oppressors, buying mansions, cars, and gold. That's right. We simple as hell. Read. And in want of all things. So we got to go to our enemies and wall of all things. What's some of the wall of all things we got to go to our enemies for? We go to them for our religion, don't we? Because they, the, they own these schools that teach these black pastors, these Hispanic pastors. We go to them to learn the Bible that ain't even for them. So right. how they going to teach us something that, that's ours? Right. We go to them for driver's license. 
And if they don't want us to have them, they'll take them. That's right. it out. And dig in the drive. We go to them for birth certificates. We go to them for marriage certificates. Right. Death certificates. Social security cards. My brothers over there in Mexico got to pay $800 for a DNA test to get their kids back. Bring it out. But y'all don't think we got enemies. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So, did we not have yokes of iron upon our necks? Back in slavery time. Not just the so-called blacks, but us Hispanics too. We was all in slavery. Bring it out. I know you Hispanics don't think you was, but you was. And the fact is, y'all was in slavery before we was. That's right. We got to come back to God. That's right. The God of the Bible. That's right. The God right. of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Not Caesar boy share that white image they want to give us. They give us a white image, and we bow down and pray to it. We simple as hell. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. Until he has destroyed us. How will we destroy? We call ourselves Mexicans now. We call ourselves African Americans now. We call ourselves Catholics, Baptists, Christians. That's how we destroy. We destroy because we eat pork. We defile our temple with it. We smoke cigarettes, we crack. We defile our temples with that stuff. We keep day on holidays, Christmas. And I said you weren't born on, on December 25th. That's right. We keep that day, they, they, they days, Thanksgiving, when they slaughtered our brothers, the American, uh, Native Americans. We keep they days, 4th of July. We were still in slavery at that time, but we still celebrate that day. We keep Easter. What does a, ra a rabbit don't even lay eggs? And what does that have to do with the resurrection of our Savior? Nothing. But that's how we destroy, we keep these days. And we teach it to our kids. Read. This is the book of Exodus. Chapter 19 and verse 6. Bring it out. And, and verse 5. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. For the earth is mine. Again, that the most high God telling you, you are special, you are treasure. But why do we come carry ourselves like niggas? We carry ourselves like niggas. And we are the greatest thing ever walked this earth. Hey. You're the greatest thing ever walked this earth, black man, black woman. That's right. Hispanic man, Hispanic woman. But we carry ourselves like we nothing. Yeah. Okay. We destroy. Read. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and holy nations. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So we are here to tell you that you're a holy nation, a priest and kings. But we got to come back to God's laws, statutes, commandments. That's right. Because that's the only way that's going to transform us into that. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.